Good morning, everybody. That's my girl. Well, we're waiting on a phone call. We gotta go move a skid steer, but that's already down. Before we move that skid steer, as soon as I got time, I've been needing to get my Kubota to the shop. So we're gonna detach, load it up, haul it in, and by then I should be getting that call. I think I can just buzz right on through town and uh, pick up that load. So let's go. All right, so what we got here is a, a hydraulic kit for a grapple that I bought. And it's supposed to be a one size fits all. But this piece here and this piece here don't really line up properly. So I could cut this stuff and make it work, but I like my stuff to be uh, how's the best way to say it? Professional, pretty, pristine, I don't know. So I'm gonna take that in to a buddy of mine that's gonna make it look real nice. Oh, cold start. And while we're at it, we've got a rubber boot on the front end. It's ripped. I'm gonna get that replaced. And while it's sitting there, we might as well do a oil change. I better bring, I better put a little fuel in it first. We're gonna pull up over here and add a little bit of fuel. But that's what we're gonna do this morning. I gotta figure out how to tie this thing down. I've never, uh, never really hauled it anywhere. But we're gonna go grab the grapple in a second after we put some fuel in this and load her up. was getting rid of everything in his tractor shop and he sold that to me at a, at a nice little discount so you know hey I don't use a grapple a lot but use one every now and then or I could use one every now and then a buddy of mine brought me his tractor that I could use so I was using his grapple That's Pretty neat tool. Uh, I better go grab this aid adapter kit before I drive off and leave it here. pick my wood up on the other side when I got here this morning we had no air in the trailer it was all already evacuated overnight so I just immediately cut the air off to the trailer I'm not sending any back here when I warm the truck up so the trailers empty when we load and unload all we're doing is dumping the bags the tanks stay full back there so they air up real fast uh that's not going to be the case right now we're going to sit a little bit let that trailer get good and aired up 
and uh, then we're off. While I was backing up, got a phone call. Got to go move a big boy. 360 Traco. We'll get it. As soon as we drop this off, we'll head that way. And then we still have the other skid steer they're still waiting on. It seems to be acting right today. I can hear. But I heard air going in it yesterday. The brakes were serviced yesterday. Just the air brags weren't. But... They seem to be airing up good. They're definitely airing up. Those are airing up. So, I think we're good. We had a little problem with this valve right here once before acting up. I suspect that's where the problem is. We got one ordered or we're in the process of ordering one. That way we'll have one on hand. So, that's just the brakes, I guess. Anyway, moving this day forward. By the way, a little story, y'all. Friend of mine, this is about being scammed on the internet. Y'all be careful. So a friend of mine sends me this Facebook Marketplace post. And uh, it's nice. Nice looking KW, W9, big truck, big, big cab truck. Let me fix this a little bit. Big cab truck big sleeper microwave refrigerator the whole nine is it's made to run the road and this guy says he owns this truck he's selling it cheap he mainly just wants to get storage taken care of the storage yard is owed roughly 20 grand you pay me you take care of the storage I'll send you the title or you pay me I'll send you the title but you have to go take care of storage just so happens the storage yard is Eli's towing here in uh, Davenport. Well, I thought, well, heck, that's simple. You all know Pops. He's real good buddies with Eli. I said, well, heck, man, I can, I can get a deal on that storage. I know I can, or I know Pops can. So, worth looking at. Maybe just flip the truck. Who knows? So, I sent Pops down there to Eli's and look it over. He calls me back says, man, good looking truck. I said, well, make sure you go talk to Eli about who owns it because something's fishy to me. Like, why wouldn't Eli just get a mechanic's lien, which is what he would do. So Eli wasn't there, or the dad wasn't there. He'll be back in 20 minutes. So Pops hangs out. He gets to talking to Eli. Eli says, man, if you can get the title, more power to you. I've been trying to get the title for almost a year. But I can't get it. It's all wrapped up in attorneys. <laughs> There's the scam. <laughs> this is my truck. You pay me, I'll send you the title, and you go take care of the storage. That guy didn't no more own that truck than I did. Or guy, gal, whoever it was running the scam. It was most definitely a scam. And good thing we knew where the truck was and knew the people who were holding the truck and were able to do a decent amount of research. But I'll be careful out there, man. That internet is full of freaking scammers. This is a dangerous one right here. This road used to be a clay road. Now it's, they've turned into the frickin' Autobahn. They're trying to relieve pressure off of I-4, I understand it, so they paved this old clay road. And these people get on this back road in their little frickin' Honda Civics or whatever, their little Beamers, and they think to themselves, wow, I'm in the middle of nowhere. And this is a curvy road. I can race. I watched Fast and Furious. All 99 of them. <laughs> I know exactly how to do this. Man, those guys, I see at least one a week wrapped around one of these trees in a ditch something <laughs> but I 
I've got to pull out in between two curves, which is always a little nerve wracking. I'm just waiting on them to come around one of those curves one day at about 60 or 70 or 80. Matter of fact, I've got some pictures, I've got some videos on my phone of a kid come right through that curve one day. Me and Ashley, uh, one weekend, we were out riding the golf cart. We were running up and down our clay road. And I saw this Tesla with a tree shoved through the hood all the way to the windshield right across the street from us. My understanding is, is the kid was okay, but his brother was there. Apparently, you cannot open the door of a Tesla without the key or something. I don't know. There was a cat <laughs> in a and I'm not laughing at the cat, but the guy had a cat in a crate in the car, and he was in the hospital, but okay, they were talking to him, and uh, they couldn't get the cat out of there without his keys or something like that. He, he, they needed something from him to get the cat out. I said, well, I got a sledgehammer. <laughs> I went back to camp, got that kid a sledgehammer, and videoed him and his mother beating the windshield out of that thing. <laughs> they didn't want to do it at first. And I'm looking at this car saying, guys, it's total. I mean, there's a tree almost in the front seat. <laughs> you might as well just finish it off. <laughs> I got to get that video to my editor, let him post it as a short. <laughs> True story. We're in get her disconnected unchained and we got to go get a big machine something that pays money because this ain't paying nothing or if the back tires hit those ramps at all yeah the back tires do don't touch them. <laughs> That's all right. All right, we're out of there. We're crossing a really steep railroad crossing right now. Made it. Didn't quite make a gear here in the Lord. Anyway, that's a little hectic because you got to do all that in the middle of the road stuff. But I'm out of there now. I can relax. Over the railroad crossings, that's no longer an object. That's a pretty steep one there. But now let's go make some money. Let's go. Alrighty. Well, this particular machine here, we use five chains and nine binders to make this one work. So, we're going to get all that prepared, and then we'll get her loaded up and get going. Let's go. Wait till I see Travis next. I'm on. Lay it on him. Pretty sure he was here last. try to get some of this stuff off of there because we can't have it falling off going down the road some of it's falling off
She's on. Now we just got to land it. That's going to be close. this binder it's got it's full of lime rock this is one of the ones that got rained on and I you know that was over the weekend and we just haven't used it yet so but he's cleaned up That's how we do this machine i put four binders on each corner of the tracks i put four chains cross chain front and rear and then we chain the boom so we'll take a final look in a second all right so this is where you just gotta think pre-think a little bit because i get in there these the boom chain and this chain have to share a hole so i got to put the boom chain in first otherwise once i put the binder hook in and i'm trying to do it one-handed once i put the binder hook in the boom chain won't go in so no big deal just that's just the way you got to do it on this one all right we got our flags flags on both sides of the tracks boom chain cross chains track chains all the way around that's the way we got it same thing here looking good to me well we're here so now that same thing in reverse Wonder how he 
there one of that I put that one there so I'll be housed as soon that company said they were gonna have all this mulch all these trees mulching out of here and weeks ago they should worry about that maybe not worry about me <laughs> that curb we barely have enough room in here for a loader so that's gonna be a bit of a booger look at all that dirt in there from that last one look at it underneath <laughs> I'd have got that in one hit, but I did. We'll take it. We got a little stroll on this one. This one goes all the way to Bartow. That's a good little run from here because so many red lights. Y'all know my favorite chain up here to the fenders. That's my favorite, y'all know that. Cross chain. Normally I go to there. I got all kind of angle this time. You looking pretty. Let's go deliver. All right, I got all the hard work done without your help. Thanks a lot. Just kidding. It's the end of the day, man. Got to joke around a little bit. What if we got rid of all that dirt yet? Ah. Oh, that's the last time I. No, it's not the last time I flipped that ramp today. I had to flip them both one more time. Let's roll, boys. Oh, let me not forget what happened last time. I got a little jiggity with the bucket and forks.
home free. Thank you.